Hey there, today I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on receiving and giving advice as a founder, as an entrepreneur. It's no doubt that as you build your own business from scratch, you inevitably need the support of people around you. You need investors, you need customers, you need team members, and you need advisors to help you grow. And the common thing about all these people is that you undoubtedly get a lot of unsolicited advice from people who are credible and otherwise. The thing with advice is that everyone has it, but one thing that people often overlook is the ability of the person receiving the advice to process it. I have also been a little fortunate in my startup journey, so I get asked a lot of advice from uh, those who are in earlier stages of their entrepreneurship and some of the advice uh, or the questions that they ask include, hey, how did you raise so much money? How did you get your early customers? How did you get your product up and running? And so on. Um, and when in the process of giving advice, I've realized that almost all of it is biased based on my personal experiences, my thoughts during uh, the course of my building the action and what I have personally observed from my peers and other founders in my community. And uh, it just goes without saying that when you receive advice, it is very important to be aware of these biases about these point of views, which may or may not be applicable to you. I have received a lot of advice that may seem stupid or irrelevant for me, but nonetheless, I have valued it because it shows that people actually care enough to put their thought and give their time to give those advice to you. And I think even if you may not like the advice that you receive, it would be a good idea to encourage more people to come and give advice and think about you and your startup. And I think that's that is a great uh, aspect of any of this. Talking of specifics, one of the most common questions that come for from in, from uh, entrepreneurs is how I was able to raise funds, um, how uh, you know what, how my pitch deck looked like, what my deck was, what my process was. I genuinely think that regardless of how much inputs or advice you get from your well-wishers, doesn't matter if uh, even if it comes from a place of caring. Uh, I think it's important to take it with a grain of salt. I think it's important never to go away from your authenticity and your real self. And the journey of entrepreneurship, in my opinion, is a journey of self-discovery, of self-realization, knowing your strengths, and more importantly, knowing your limitations and weaknesses. And I would like to think that all this advice I get points me towards a direction that helps me discover my own self, that helps me discover my authenticity. And it is a fact that your authenticity is not determined by your success or your failure. It is determined by what you do, how you think and how you process all the inputs that you get. So that is my thoughts on the advice, giving and receiving advice. I am so sure that there is, I, I know nothing. I am barely beginning my entrepreneurship journey and there is so much that I'm yet to learn, understand and absorb. And I think that is the case with everyone. Anyone who claims to know a lot or who claims to know everything is lying to themselves and definitely lying to you. It is important to keep in mind uh, that the journey of authenticity is the core foundation of everything that you do as an entrepreneur. And that should be the focus regardless of whether you succeed, fail, uh, during the ups and downs, it is your authentic self that will keep you driving, that will keep you persevering, and that will keep you motivated.